please be advised. This show contains adult language, violent acts, and triggering situations. Not advised for children under the age of 13. Your urine test came back clean today, Sam. The cannabis has left your system. Lucky me. I'm proud of you for staying clean. I know this is hard. You have no idea. We're not even at the end yet. I read a bit about what happened. What you read about was the aftermath, not what happened the day before. I know what you did to Kyle. And after hearing you talk about him, I have to say I don't understand why you did it. It sounds like you really loved him. He was my best friend. I'd always assumed the incident was the result of your drug use, but you're telling me the heroin and the pills came later, years after the car accident. Yeah, so? So, if you weren't on drugs, then why did you do it? Sam? You'll understand that part when I get to it. If you believe what I tell you anyway. I already promised I would. Well, you'll be the first person to follow through on that. But I will follow through. You've needed someone in your corner for a very long time, and your parents... How did your dad keep you out of prison? No charges were ever brought. I've seen the photographs. You're telling me the DA didn't press charges? If that's unbelievable to you, then maybe we should just stop here. Hey, I'm just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together. The pieces aren't even all out of the box. You're right. Absolutely. So Monday, you told me that you and Kyle got into a fight and you left him on the street. He got out of the car at a stoplight. I didn't leave him on the street. He walked away. And what happened that night? I went home. Kyle didn't answer my texts and Dad worked late. Mom slept in Whitney's room. She used to do that all the time. I just went to bed. Next morning, I tried calling Kyle. He ignored me. Kimber's phone was dead. Everything was going straight to voicemail. So what'd you do? Not enough. Q-Code presents Baraska. Created by Rebecca Klingel. Starring and produced by Cole Sprouse. Where's mom? Still asleep. In Whitney's room? That's four nights in a row. Why are you up so early, son? You know why. I'm going to Kyle's. He hasn't answered the door for you all week, Sammy. I know. What'd you two fight about? Doesn't matter. Anything new on Kimber's case? (sighs) First of all, she doesn't have a case. There's no need to be an alarmist about this. We've been working on tracking down her relatives in California. And? She doesn't have any on her father's side. We're looking at Megan's family now. It's a waste of time. Kimber didn't go to California. She would have called us. All right, Sam, what do you think happened then? Someone took her. Was she being stalked? I don't know. I don't think so. But we went to this party, a Baraska party. Oh, don't start with that. And Kimber got picked by all these ladies wearing all white. They took her and two other girls into the woods and took blood samples from them. I highly doubt that. I saw it happen. There's something going on out in those woods, Dad. Sacrifices are- Or skinned men? Or a shiny gentleman that eats people? Samuel, you're 17. Enough of this shit. You're not fucking listening to me. Enough! There is no time for your goddamn force monster, Sam. This is serious. I know it's fucking serious. Then let me do my job. I would if you were actually doing it. Do you think you're the man of the house now? Do you assume that you can give me orders? I am the authority here. I never said you weren't. You have work today. 
In an hour, if I recall, so finish eating your goddamn cereal. Go to work and do your job. You got it? I asked you a question. Yes. I got it. I didn't sleep for six days after Whitney went missing. Do you remember all the nights I didn't come home? And you constantly accused me of not doing enough. I won't go through this again with Kimber. Do you understand me? Yes. No, no, no. I mean, do you really understand me? Do you get me, son? Yes. I'm going to work. You better do the fucking same. He's not here. <sighs> Bull fucking shit, Parker. Kimber's gone. Where the hell else would he be? Boning his new girlfriend? Christ, you don't know your brother at all. You know what? I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of him ignoring me. I'm going in. Door's locked. <sighs> Unlock the door, Parker. Nah. What's your fucking problem, man? No problem. But you've been here every day and he hasn't come to talk to you once. Take the hint. I swear to God, I will kick you through this fucking wall. That desperate to see your boyfriend? I mean, I guess now that Kimber's gone, you two can finally fuck each other. <clears throat> Get off me! Shut the fuck up, Parker. You're always talking, but you're never saying jack shit. Let me go! What the fuck's going on? Get, get off him! What the hell is wrong with you, Walker? Beating up 14-year-old shit, is that your thing now? Screw you. Shut the fuck up, Park, before I let him finish kicking your ass. You don't know what he said. He says a lot of fucking things. He's an idiot. <laughs> what the hell, Kyle? I'm a little fucking on edge. Uh, fucking stop, man. That shit you said to me about Kimber, not cool. Uh, you accused me of not loving her. You'll choose my dad of worse than that! And I stand by that! Kick his ass, Kyle! Stay the hell out! <clears throat> my dad has been busting his ass this week trying to track down Kimber's family in L.A. She doesn't have family in L.A. I fucking know that! The point is that he's trying to find her, unlike us. She won't even answer my fucking calls. Because I am goddamn sick of you, man! I have been sick of you for months! Get fucked, Kyle. Ugh. Sam. So tired of this shit. Sam. Jesus, just wait a second. Don't fucking touch my car. Oh, freaking get over yourself. It's a freaking teen girl's car. Look, there's even a built-in flower vase. Shut up. And it's pink. It's orange. What do you want, Kyle? I don't know. Not this. Not this? I've been over here every day. I know. Kimber fucking needs us, man. I know. I know. I guess... Part of me wants to believe... Wants to believe that your dad is right. He's not. I know. But I want to believe it. I want to believe that she's with her dad. Safe. I know, man. She's not, is she? She would have called us if she could. And if she was with her dad, she could have. What are we going to do? I don't know. Kimber would hate this. I know. I'm sorry I kicked your ass. <laughs> no, I kicked your ass. Look at your face. You're fucking bleeding. I won. I'm still standing. You're on your way to a black eye. Why don't you just go make out with each other? That kid ever shut his mouth? No, I usually have to shut it for him. Get in the car. We going somewhere? Where to? I don't know. I just feel like we can't just keep doing nothing. I know. Man, I hate your new house. It's so far. Me too. Don't know why my parents decided to downsize when my mom's pregnant. 
Your mom's pregnant? Yeah. They told me in Park last week. How pregnant is she? I don't know. Four months or something? Hard to tell. She doesn't really look it. Wow. Can't believe I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> Fuck you. Should've used a condom. Oh well, babies are blessings. Yeah, muzzle tough. You got any weed on you? A joint? Where's your bowl? My dad got wise. No more bowls, bongs, or any other paraphernalia he can nail me for. Just joints from now on. Huh. Well, maybe learn to roll them better. Do, do you want it or not? Yeah. We hand it over. All right. So, where are we going? I don't know. We can go over to Kimber's house and look around, see if we can find anything. Already been twice this week. The whole house is locked down. Alarm's set. Couldn't even break in. All right. Uh, we can go over to Saunders, see if he's heard anything. Oh, fuck Saunders. Do you want to drive? Because I don't know where the fuck we're going. Mile marker one. The boulder? Yeah. Let's start in the woods. Jesus, watch it, man! All these fucking people out here going about their business like nothing's happening. Like nothing's wrong. Kimber is gone, and none of these people care. Well, we're guilty of it too, you know. And how many people do we know who ran off with their boyfriends or got sent to live with extended family? None of them ever came back. Well, they weren't Kimber. Well, they were Kimber. To their families and friends and stuff. We did fuck all for them. I know. I know. I know. Fuck. We're gonna find her, man. This all started with that goddamn party. No, it started way before that. How long have people been disappearing in Driskin? I don't know, decades. Apparently, I had another aunt once. Are we going to the treehouse? We're going to Baraska. Nobody knows where the fuck that is, Kyle. Or even what it is. It's a place in the woods where bad things happen. Yeah, I know. Everyone knows. You said you didn't believe in Baraska. That's been your line for years. Yeah, well, I don't know what's real anymore. And you know, the ladies in white, the blood taking the shit doesn't sound real. But... I mean, so, maybe all of it's fucking real. What about the skin men? You believe in monsters now? I don't know about that shit. I just know that if there's a fraction of a chance that Baraska is real, we need to find it. Because if it is real, that's where Kimber is. Well, no one's ever found it, right? No one has come back from looking for it. Well, that's real comforting. Look, this is mile marker one, right? Yeah. And Amber Cod is mile marker two. Yeah. The ceiling specifically says Road to Baraska, mile marker two. And you found four once. I, I was 12. I just stumbled on it. I, I couldn't even tell you where it is now. East side of the mountain, maybe? But it was marked, so we just gotta keep looking for those mile markers. We don't know how many there even are. There could be 50. Well, the triple tree wouldn't be at mile marker one if Baraska was 50 miles away. How do you know? I don't. I, I don't have any fucking idea. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe we just go. See if we can find anything. It's better than doing nothing, right? Yeah. Let's just... Let's just start it, Amber Cot. There's no one here. Did you expect them to be? Well, I don't know. What are you doing? Looking for her name. Should have done it days ago, but... Is it there? I'm gonna kill them. Who? Oh, shit. I'm gonna kill them all. We don't even know who they are. Kyle, where are you going? There's no one in there. I have to see! See what? Where are you? I'm up here. 
You're making me climb to the second story? There's nothing here, Kyle. Oh. Hello? Hey, it's me, baby. Where are you? Emily. Shit. What's going on? Well, I haven't talked to you in a couple days, and I thought, you know, maybe you'd want to come over this weekend, stay the night. My parents are going to Branson. Uh, stay the night? Yeah. I thought maybe you would have more time for me since... You know, Kimber moved away. More time for us. Emma. I know you're probably feeling sad about it, so I wanted to spend the weekend with you. You could just tell your parents that you're at Kyle's. Oh, I really want that, baby. I really do. I'm ready to lose my virginity, Sam. Fuck. Sam! So what do you think? Can you come? <sighs> Emma... I can't. God, I, I wish I could, but there's some stuff going on right now that I can't. Is it about Kimber? Yes, it's about Kimber. She doesn't even live here anymore. Sam! Look, baby, I gotta go. Can I call you later? No, don't bother. It's clear where your priorities lie. Oh, no, no, it's not like that. You know I covered your shift today? Mira called me to come in because you were a no-show and I lied for you. Told her you asked me to take the shift and I forgot. Thank you. Thank you. Emily, look, there's some serious shit that's going on. Well, now you can concentrate on it, because we are done. Who the hell are you talking to? Tell him it's your ex-girlfriend, asshole. My ex-girlfriend. You don't have an ex-girlfriend. Yeah, well, now I do. Oh, shit. What'd you find? Look, man, I'm really sorry about Emma. I don't want to talk about it. It's done. What did you find? Graffiti. Graffiti's everywhere in this place, Kyle. Yeah, this is different. Come on. God, that mattress is so fucking gross. Phil nailed Penelope on it last year. Ryston? Yep. Isn't she in college? Yeah. She was a senior then. Nice. If you're into that sort of thing. What, hot? Crazy. Yeah, well, I bet Phil's into that. Look, read this. You want me to kneel on that thing and read the wall? You have to read it. Can't you just tell me? Fuck, dude. Just fucking read it. All right. Damn. I can't see his face. Kyle, that could mean anything. What about that? We never come back. Who's writing this shit? Whoever lies on that mattress. Those ones aren't even bad. Move the blankets back from the wall. Read the floor underneath. Holy shit. Yeah. Help us. Help me. Save me. I'll never see my mom again. I hear it scream at night. There's dozens of these. They're all different. All different people. Different writing. There's a pencil tucked between the mattress and the wall. I want to die, but I don't want to be dead dust. It's coming for me. Holy shit. That's still not the worst thing. What could be worse? Look, there's stuff that's being erased. Stuff they're removing. Names, maybe, I don't know. The point is that someone is letting these messages stay and erasing others. These ones are fucked up enough. What the hell did they erase? I don't know. But none of them... Kimber's handwriting isn't here. I I was looking for something of hers in the room, but there's nothing. That's a good thing. I, I'm, I'm done with this fucking place. Let's find mile marker three. When's the last time you saw an actual trail? An hour, maybe. Yeah, I, I don't want to get lost out here again, man. Not like the night that Whitney died. You don't know she's dead. You sound like my dad. Don't ever say that shit again. Besides, if Whitney did die the day that she went missing, what the fuck does that mean for Kimber? It doesn't mean anything. We're gonna find her. 
You know, you're not an angry kid out here alone in the dark anymore, Sam. I know, but things happen in these mountains at night. You don't understand, Kyle. Yeah, I do. I remember the shit we heard the night the ladies in white took Kimber's blood. We still haven't found that clearing. I know. We haven't found jack shit. It's been hours, Kyle. I know. The sun is going down. I know. Jesus fucking I know, okay? I just... I just don't want to go home yet. I don't either. It won't be hard to find our way back. We just need to head down. If you head down, you'll always run into the access road. Right. What the hell is that? What? That. It looks like an old dining table. Oh, shit. Can't believe it's still standing. It's only got two and a half legs. What's written on the top? Mile marker three. This is one six scavenger hunt. Well, that doesn't make any sense. What doesn't? The markers. If we plot them, they should make a straight line, right? I don't know. Kimber does my math homework for me. The rock, the treehouse, this table, and mile marker four was definitely on the other side of the mountain. So they're worthless? <sighs> other than to tell us if we're getting closer or further away, yeah, they're worthless. Fuck! Kyle. I'm gonna burn this fucking mountain down! The treehouse is a fucking town, too! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Stop! You hear that, you fucks? I'm gonna burn everything down so there's nowhere left to hide her! Fucking skinned man! Fucking shiny piece of shit, gentlemen! Fuck Calm down! You. Kyle, sit down! I don't know what to do. Sit. Just breathe, man. I don't know where to go, man. It's fine. I... Where is she, man? Sit. Where is she, Sam? Sit. I don't know where she is. But we're gonna find her. How? I I don't know. Burn down all these fucking woods like you said. <laughs> we could use the light anyway. It's getting dark. We can come back in the morning as soon as the sun is out. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. I really wish we'd save that joint. There's another one. We gotta go. I've heard that sound before, the night of the party. Yeah, you did. We gotta go. Down. Which way is down? I can't tell. This way. What is that? I don't know. Just keep moving. Down, down. Just keep, just keep going down. Shit. Hurry up, Kyle. Let's go. There's the road. <sighs> Are we safe here? I don't hear anything. Thank God. What was that? Fuck knows. I heard it back then too when I got lost out here. It was an animal. I know. I know. I, I don't I don't know what the fuck it is. Holy shit. Whew. Okay, can we just agree to leave the mountain before dusk tomorrow? Probably smart. Come on, get up. We're making progress. We've found mile markers one to four. I don't even know how to find three again, man. Or four, actually. The table, it, it's just... It's that that way, right? I feel like it was further east. We took off pretty fast, though. Shit. We'll find it. We'll find them all. I won't stop looking until we do. And did you find them all? No. How many did you find? Eight. More tea? You need it. Yeah, well, unless you got whiskey, don't bother. Damn. Jura? Bought it in Scotland last year. Whiskey in the office, Leah. You want it or not? Oh, I want it. This does not go beyond this office. Who would I tell? And I get to pour it. Yeah, fine. Go for it. So 
So, tell me about the eight mile markers you did find. The boulder, that was number one. The tree house was two. The table, three. The post I found when I was 12 was four. And the other four? We found over the next week. An old couch, disgusting looking. It was ripped to shreds by something and there was stuff growing inside of it. Someone stitched into the back with red yarn. Mile marker eight. Hmm. What else? Car. I was completely burned out. White spray paint said mile marker seven. It was so far from mile marker eight. What about the last two? A mirror. Cracked, but not like broken. It looked like it was from an abandoned house. I mean, well, most of the furniture out there did. The mirror was mile marker 14. 14? That's a big mountain range, Leah. And what was the last mile marker you found? What was the last one? A bed. And what number was it? Mile marker 54. 54? Oh my god. You never find Baraska, do you? It wasn't distance, Leah. The numbers never made any sense for mapping. They weren't leading us anywhere. They weren't meant to. That's not what the numbers meant. What do you think they meant? The bed. Mile marker 54, we found it on the ninth day. We were mapping the markers we'd already found, going back over everything. We'd mapped that spot before. That bed appeared out of nowhere. It wasn't there, and then three days later, it was. What aren't you telling me? That bed. Skimpers. What? Kyle never would have mistaken it for anything else. It was hers. Someone wrote mile marker 54 across the headboard. Kimber's bed? Somebody moved her bed into the woods? Yeah. It was perfectly made, too. I think that was the only thing that let Kyle keep his sanity. Over the nine days, he just... Deteriorated. Kimber's bed was the last straw. He went completely numb after that. How many days did you end up searching for her? Ten. What happened on that tenth day? We realized we were being followed by something. Who do you think it is? Not who. What? What do you mean, what? You don't think it's human? Whatever's doing this to us, it's not human. It has to be a person. It's fast. Sometimes it gets within like 50 yards of us and others... Feels like it's miles behind, but it is following. I don't know how you can tell. It's black. It blends into the shadows. What are you talking about? It's white. You've seen a black one? Yeah. If it's usually ahead of us, not behind. You're seeing something different than me. The thing I saw was white. It's blinding white. And it was running. Then there's two. There's at least two. It's another access road. Let's go north and hop off in about half a mile. I don't think we've been that far northeast yet. Hey. What? Is that Ramirez? And some other cop? Jameson. What the hell are they doing parked up here? Hey, Sam! Is that you? Come over here! Shit. Hey, Ramirez. Hey. We're buddies, aren't we? Call me Paul. Okay. Hi, Jameson. Hey, kid. What are you and your little friend doing out here? Uh, hiking. Off the trail? 
We're looking for my girlfriend. And who's your girlfriend? Kimba DeStaro. You remember? Hottest redhead in town. Go fuck yourself, Ramirez. Kyle, stop. You're gonna have to search a lot farther away if you want to find that one. What the fuck does that mean? Now, what did I tell you about your language, Mr. Landy? Cleary. Retirement ain't agreeing with you. Going on ride-alongs now. Sheriff Cleary's just here for some surveying. Surveying of what? There's nothing here. Law enforcement business. Then what the hell is he doing here? Just donating my time to a worthy cause. <laughs> Sammy, good to see you. Surprised, though. Thought you were working today. It's weird that you know that. I called off. Not the best idea. You should be more responsible, son, if you want to be a sheriff one day. I don't. You will. What's going on in those woods? Friends of yours? I don't know what that is. We hear it sometimes at night. Oh, yeah? We've all heard it. Most people stay off the mountain at night. Yeah. Well, we just heard it during the day, didn't we? Well, sounds like you were somewhere you shouldn't be. We're being followed by at least two people. They've been stalking us all day. They're not people. Well, what do you think they are, son? Skinned men. Or shiny gentlemen, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, you'd know if you met the shiny gentleman. He doesn't skulk around. He doesn't hide itself. He's the thing that screams. You fucking know! You fucking know where she is! Uh, Kyle! Come on! Uh, little shit! Uh, you hit me in the face! Uh, I'll kill everyone that's touched her! Uh, everyone that knows! That's enough, Mr. Landy. My fucking eye is bleeding. I'll make your dick bleed too, you fucking cow fucker. Ooh, damn, Ramirez. He knows your wife. Fuck you, Jameson. I should get to hit him. One time. You really concerned with saving face in front of teenagers, Paul? Look at my fucking eye. You're a cop. You can't hit a kid. He can't. You're a minor. Sometimes you're a real fucking idiot, Sam. What? Hold him! What are you doing? You can't hit him. You're a fucking cop. I'm a deputy. So what? You can't. Nice. You been working on that hook? Oh, he's got a jaw like a fucking stone. Just like his daddy. Oh, you pussy. You f Enough, Paul. You had your fun. You'll be seeing me around, Landy. I'm sure I will. Can't miss your wife, Ramirez. Yeah? Keep talking. We're, uh, <laughs> we're leaving. Come on, Kyle. Tell your daddy I said hi, Sam. Believe me, I fucking will. <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck just happened. They restrained you and let him hit you. What the hell? I, I told you before, you trust the cops in this town, you fucking shouldn't. I don't trust those assholes. Ramirez was with Kimber's dad when he disappeared. I tried to talk to my dad about your it. Your dad is always your fucking dad. I trust him. You shouldn't. You know, I didn't. I didn't know if I should, this whole last week. I wondered. But Cleary just threatened him. He's not involved. That's what you think just happened. You fucking heard him. Tell your dad I say hi. He's threatening me. He's letting me know that he could hurt my dad. That, that is not what just happened. Your dad knows some shit, Sam. Okay. You're pissed off right now and scared for Kimber, so I'm gonna let that go. Alright, you, you keep trusting him. At the end of this, you let me know how all this played out for you. You're a dick. Just shut the fuck up until we get to the car. Fine. 6 a.m. tomorrow? Yep. and I'll get back to you when I can. Oh, and if this is Kyle or Sam, your pranks aren't going to work anymore, assholes. Hey, Kay. It's... It's me. I, uh... Fuck. I miss you. Kyle just sees... He's not handling it well. We're not. We're not doing well at all. We need you. I miss... 
I miss who all of us were back before this. Before the party. Before I started all of it. It's my fault. Wherever you are right now, whatever is happening to you, it's my fault. Kyle and I got into a fight almost two weeks ago. Parker was there. I won. I don't know what's happening. If I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to find you. Kyle is a shell. He's just, he's numb to everything except when he isn't. And when he isn't, he's self-destructive as hell. I, I, I don't know how to fix him. He needs you. I hope you are in California. I hope you were just done with us. Sick of doing our homework and smelling like our weed. Sick of our shit. I hope you left with your dad. I hope you're getting a tan out there and making friends. And if you are, please just send a text or a letter or... Please just let us know. Kyle is ready to set fire to this entire town, literally. I'm sorry I broke us. Hello? It's me. Hey. Didn't check caller ID before you answered, did you? I always think it might be her. What's up? Your dad learned anything new? I thought you didn't trust my dad. Just wanted to see if there are any updates. Well, he's not here. He's been working late for a while. Right. Listen, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so bring a raincoat or some shit. I don't have one. My mom does, though. Well, as long as you don't mind looking like a woman. I don't give a shit what I look like. Yeah. I'll see you at 6 a.m. See you. Hey. Kimber would be proud of us for being up so early, wouldn't she? She'd be shocked, for sure. Yeah. See you then. Night. What did it mean? Death. It always means death. Did you ever find out who the shiny gentleman was? I wasn't a who. Was Kimber okay? <sighs> was she okay? Have you been listening to the fucking story? I have been, but I still don't understand what the mile markers meant. Why was Kimber's bed out there? I told you, they weren't marking miles. Then what were they marking? People. The car, the couch, the mirror, each belong to a person. Kimber's bed. And Kimber's bed. Mile marker 54. No, Leah. Victim number 54. Oh my god. Now you're getting it. I'm sorry, Sam. No, you're not sorry. Not yet. But I promise, you will regret asking me to tell you this story. I haven't regretted it yet. We're not at the end yet. Can you meet tomorrow? Our appointment's for Tuesday. I know, but the next part of the story is the end, isn't it? The end is all that's left. Then can you meet tomorrow? What time? 6 p.m. That's after hours, Leah. I know it is. Yeah. I can probably meet you.
You'll have fun with the lovely Miss Dixon today. How do you know she's lovely? All women are lovely. See, I'm not sure why you have so much trouble getting laid with lines like that. No, I, I, I get laid. I got laid last night. Tell me you're not talking about Tara. I know she's easy, but she's burnouts, and the last thing I need is bad blood with that guy. Or whatever, that girl is fucking gorgeous. I might risk it if I got any signal she was into me. She's into everybody. Damn, dude. How are you fucking up a sure thing? A sure thing you are not allowed to fuck, by the way. You've got this girl all wrong. Was she here to offer me a job? She might have mentioned needing you for something, yeah. Yeah, man, that's Tara. She came by again today, while you were sleeping. Well, next time she's here, don't send her away. Wake me up. I need a fucking job. Now you're gonna do it, aren't you? You're gonna go back to dealing? Well, I gotta feed my kids. Now well, you don't have any kids. Oh, that's right. No, I gotta pay for my shit. Well, you're a mess, dude. You have no fucking idea. Baraska stars Cole Sprouse as Sam Walker. Additional performances by Lisa Edelstein as Leah Dixon, Mark Derwin as Graham Walker, Mace Cornell as Parker Landy, Daniel Weber as Kyle Landy, Seychelle Gabriel as Emmeline Bonham, Nick Cigar as Officer Ramirez, Carlo Rota as Officer Jameson, Richard Berge as Killian Clary, Bo Knapp as Eric Tucker, Sarah Yarkin as Kimber Destara. Created by Rebecca Klingel. Directed by Stephanie Abel Horowitz and Tess Harrison. Produced by Rob Herding, Dave Henning, Brian Cavanaugh-Jones, Fred Berger, and Cole Sprouse. Production executive, Tess Ryan. Original scoring composition by Darren Johnson. Recorded by Ryan Walsh, assisted by Neely Oftering. Edited by Ryan Walsh and Ben Melchev. Sound design by Maria Mora and Juan David Shaparo Perez for Audio 4 Media. Mix and mastering by Ryan Sanchez. Casting by Chelsea Block and Marisol Roncalli for Atomic Honey. Script supervisor, Sam Beasley. Post coordinator, Rachel Yanover. Assistant director, Miranda Sampson. Talent coordinator, James Gelberg. Artwork by Tomer Honka and Bryn Jones. Baraska is a Q-Code production.